Outlander 2018 Emmy Panel, Live Updates and Video Excited for the Outlander 2018 Emmy Panel? We absolutely know that we are, and we're going to be providing you with constant content the moment that it happens. We know that we already posted an article with the live stream video, but in the event you haven't seen that one you can also watch the entire panel by clicking on play in the YouTube embed below. To go along with that, we're going to provide here some updates of key events and discussion points throughout the panel for those who don't have the time to watch it at the moment. Think of the upcoming paragraphs as a highlight reel of sorts. Remember, the primary purpose of this panel is to promote Outlander in the eyes of Emmy voters, which should help in turn to get it more recognition this summer. We don't have huge expectations of Season 4 scoop but there could be surprises along the way. Stay tuned, updates will appear in this space. We're officially underway. The presentation began with a quick look at Season 3 and some of the great performances. There were certainly highlights aplenty of Katrina Balfe and Sam Hewen which makes sense, given that they were in attendance. The panel begins. This attendees for the event included production designer John Gary Steele, executive producer Stoney Graffia, Matthew B. Roberts, Ronald D. Moore, Meryl Davis, and of course stars Sam Hewen and Katrina Balfe. Moore kicks off the panel discussion by discussion the story of season 3, including the transitional nature of the story and the characters learning more about who they are. Meanwhile, Huen discussed how the relationship between Jamie and Claire has evolved from where it was, in some ways, it is stronger now because of the experiences that she has. Balf, meanwhile, talked about how Claire evolved and how Brianna was a push for her to keep moving forward. Eventually two conversations shifted to visual effects, as Roberts talked about the makings of the incredible hurricane scene at the end of season 3. The hurricane was actually one of the first sequences shot within the actual final block of the season and it was ambitious for both the cast and crew. Graffio so accentuated how this was an example of the couple's teamwork. Burning sets. One of our favorite moments of the panel was listening to Steele discussing building the print shop only to then burn them later. There were multiple versions versions of it at one point. Gary's love for his sets is clear, and this turned into a conversation about the costuming on the series. Terry Dressbach could not be in attendance but Balf still opened up about some of the fantastic costumes on the series. That included a discussion about making things both realistic to specific eras and also artistic. The writing, Roberts discussed the challenge of shooting some long scenes, especially a Malcolm and the wait for the print shop scene. Katrina Balf's favorite scene, the reunion was really special, but for me some of the Claire, Frank stuff was great. They are two people who used to be very much in love but circumstances changed everything. Sam didn't specify a favorite scene per se, but appreciated the lengthy journey for Jamie through the first few episodes, including finding relative peace at Hellwater. Audience questions. Katrina Balfe on all of Claire's killing. Claire's Hippocratic Oath goes out the window sometimes. I think in many ways Claire thrives in this environment of danger and she manages to find herself in these precarious moments. She never does it on purpose, and generally if she causes severe injury she tries to fix them afterwards. There's a beautiful part in season 3 where Claire tells Elias Pound how she copes with harrowing situations and its compartmentalization. That's a huge part of Claire's character and how she manages to always push forward. She's able to compartmentalize various points of her life. Was Jamie in a present in season 1? This was a fun discussion that was had between many different parties and whether or not this is something that will be explained down the line. According to Meryl Davis it was Jamie who Frank saw in the present, and that is a story she hopes to explore down the line. More on the future of Murtaugh, I just really like the character, it just felt like in the show, we had used Murtaugh in a different way than in the books. Season 4 Discussion If you've followed the press for the show, you know a little bit about North Carolina and the story of building a home already. Casting Roberts praised David Barry for his work as Lord John Gray and some of the challenging circumstances that led to his performance, including him arriving on set almost immediately after a red-eye flight from Australia. Graffio also talked about the fantastic character of Galus and the complicated relationship that was there. On adapting the source material, Moore discussed how they always start with the books and plot things out, which enables the writers to figure out what they need to condense. It's a log complicated, and drawn-out process, but the books are always at the forefront. 